Okay, your Nevi 3 scaler is a posterior scaler. We're going to choose the correct working end by establishing our fulcrum, turning the tip toward the tooth, and seeing which end has the most parallel terminal shank. So we can see this end is laying across the tooth, and this end is parallel. So I know this is my correct working end. The angulation is the same as it is on the 204S scaler. So you're going to start with your most posterior tooth. Notice I can't fulcrum on number 30 to use the instrument on 32 because on a real person this is what I'm going to see. So you want to establish your fulcrum. You have to slide back on the handle just a little bit to get the reach so you can still just retract gently with the mirror and see what you're doing. I'm going to completely pull this back so you can see better. So I'm going to do distal line angle, leaning toward the tooth to maintain a 70 degree angulation around the distal. I'm going to roll leading with my tip and only using the lower third of the tip, the last about two millimeters. I'm going to start at my distal line angle, lean toward the tooth and make short overlapping oblique strokes across the buckle and then roll in across the mesial, standing back up on my fulcrum to make sure I'm maintaining 70 degrees. If you are on your topodont, if you're getting that, that sound, then your blade is engaged. You won't get that sound on real enamel. Distal line angle, roll. This should look very familiar to you because this is very similar to what we do with the 1112 Explorer. Distal line angle, down, lead with my tip, oblique strokes across the buckle, round. And though this instrument is meant for posterior teeth, you will find once you become a little more advanced that it also works well on the anteriors. So just remember the rule like you have with the 1112 Explorer that what works in the lower right, canine to canine, will wrap around and work on the surfaces away from you. Once you complete the surface away from you on the left canine, you can flip your instrument. This end will work on the lower left and then will work on the surfaces towards you. But for now, we're going to stay using this posterior only. Okay, maxillary. I'm going to retract the cheek. Patient is turned away from me because this is an area towards me. I'm sitting at 8 or 9 o'clock. I'm going to establish a fulcrum extra orally. Pull the cheeks back so you can see. And start distal line angle around. Roll. You're going to do this all through the posterior. On the premolars, it's going to look the same. You're going to be doing distal line angle. Roll your instrument. Make sure you keep that tip to the tooth. As you round this line angle, you're going to be keeping tip to the tooth. If I don't roll fast enough to maintain contact with the enamel, then this tip is going to be into the tissue. So it's really important to get that roll down quickly so you don't cause any tissue trauma. This was the Nevi 3.